important part of every single culture around the world. In fact, some cultures have developed their cuisine for thousands of years and some cuisines are more popular around the world. Well, we're not here to talk about world cuisine. We're actually here for a purpose. We are at the Five Senses restaurant which specializes in Mediterranean cuisine. Well, when speaking about Mediterranean cuisine, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of it, especially here on Food Pecker. But today we're going to find out what authentic Mediterranean cuisine is all about. We're going to go into the kitchen and see how it's made. And if you're just interested in coming to Five Senses, we're also going to show you everything it has to offer. On today's episode, we get into the kitchen and see how to make a Moroccan delicacy in the form of tagine. On the other hand, we learn how to make a pepperoni pizza with only four base ingredients and also take a look at this dining experience that is called Five Senses, only on Food Pecker. As you can see around this place, there are, this place is filled with a lot of classic movie posters. So the idea behind that is when people walk in, if you have uh, random paintings and food shots, it, everybody's got it, but this is something that pe people could connect to because these are classic movies, everybody knows about it, Marilyn Monroe or Audrey Hepburn. And uh, Five Senses is an experiential brand and we want to give our customers not just food, an entire experience together. So I'm here inside the restaurant. My first stop is going to be straight into the kitchen where we're going to meet the exec chef and find out who is responsible for all the beautiful food that's set out here. So let's go inside. Hi, my name is Jitain and I'm the executive chef at Five Senses. Chef Jitain is the executive chef at Five Senses and specializes in Mediterranean cuisine. We will be seeing what he has to show and tell us with regard to Mediterranean food and find out what tricks he has up his sleeves as he talks food and much, much more. So here we are in the kitchen with the exec chef Jitin. So how did you land up here at Five Senses? What was your you know, history before you got here? I was working with a company called OWH in uh, Delhi. Yeah. And uh, I was the sous chef with the company and I was taking care of a uh, restaurant called The Deck. Okay. So that was uh, also a Mediterranean restaurant and my main uh, job profile there was uh, to take care of the restaurant there, you know, to make sure that uh, the food which is going, uh, recipe is intact, right, the, the recipe is uncompromised and so other things, you know, which a chef chef's supposed to take care of. So are you going to show us what that next level is? Of course, today? I would, I would uh, more than happy, you know, to show you what exactly that we are doing here. But uh, we will synchronize it into a small dish that okay. is tagine. Alright, so this looks really yummy. Tell me, what do we have in front of us right now? Okay, see, uh, it's an array of uh, ingredients which are, which are lined up here. Whatever goes in tagine, which uh, we have uh, put everything together. To make the Moroccan tagine, we will need parsley, coriander and lime, harissa paste, chamula marinade, chopped lemongrass, garlic, basa fish, prawns, octopus, squid, olives, sun-dried apples, carrots, potatoes, tomato juice and olive oil. So shall we start cooking? Yeah, of course. Uh, one more thing I would like to tell you, Rachel, yeah. that uh, the tajin, this tajin dish is traditionally best made in this tajin pot. Okay. which we have uh, procured from uh, Morocco itself. Wow. Yeah, because nowhere in India it's available. So what I'll do, I'll tell you that exactly how tajin is made. Yeah? Yeah. See, first, we will take all the seafood which is available on us, right? And also one thing, while you are making any seafood dish, right, we have to be very careful with the kind of ingredients that we are choosing because nothing should be there which, you know, overpower the seafood. Seafood. Yeah. Because seafood has its own uh, acquired palate. Yeah. So, yeah. So. So that's the center of the dish, basically, the seafood. Exactly. Exactly. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I've taken most of the stuff which was required. I will mix this chamula marinade into this seafood mixture. We'll take a little of 
Harissa, uh -huh. right? And so Harissa, you don't have to be too careful with. Where exactly, you exactly. You'll have to be very careful of Harissa. And moreover, we can give it a modification by adding a little tomato juice into it. Oh. So I'll add a little tomato juice. So is the tomato juice your touch? It, it, yeah, it's my touch. Why? Because uh, we cannot, our palate cannot accept uh, harissa paste a lot because it's too spicy, it's too fiery. So just to give a little modification in, uh, to this, I have uh, used this. And also, we should not forget to add saffron in it. I'm adding saffron and lemon. No seafood is complete without the lemon. So why would you say that no seafood is complete without lemon? What, is it a good accompaniment? It is a very good accompaniment to a seafood. Okay. So we'll squeeze a lemon into it. Wow, doesn't that look really beautiful and colourful? I feel like eating it right now. So it all cooks together, is it? In this? Yeah. Uh, tajin. When you say tajin, yes. everything's supposed to be cooked together. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to add some potato slices into it. And the vegetables aren't supposed to be too much. Is it just minimal? Yeah, exactly. It is. It's supposed to be minimal. Okay. Rachel, would you mind to smell it? It's yes. smelling like... Wow, that is smelling really nice. I wish I could give you guys a chance to smell it, but I don't know if that's possible. I'll just add just a little seasoning into it, Rachel. What seasoning is that? Uh, it is just uh, salt. Just salt? Yeah, okay. as in we call it seasoning. <laughs> so that does smell... Awesome right now. I think I've mixed enough to a tajin. I've given enough of mix to a tajin. Now, all we need to do is that we we'll have to assemble this tajin into a tajin pot, right? Yep. So this is a tajin pot. We'll just assemble everything in it. So is there a method to the way we lay it out in the pot? Exactly. You uh, you don't need any method, you know, to assemble tajin. But it's as per a chef, you know how he suppose he how he wants his dish to look like. Oh, okay. So most so probably this is this is what you know I'm wanting my tajin to look like. The rest of the things I'll put on side. Now how long will this tajin cook for? It can get cooked in uh, next ten minutes, okay. and we are not going to put it on the stove directly. We'll just cover it up with the lid and we are going to leave it here, which is already hot. It's a hot plate okay. and tajin will get cooked by itself. So it's a slow cooking Yeah, it's basically. a clo slow cooking process. Okay. Yeah, because the idea behind, you know, having it slowly cooked so that, you know, all the juices get mixed together with the marination. And one more thing, Rochelle, before, you know, we, uh, uh, we go for a break, right? I just would like to put a couple of more ingredients into it. This is sun-dried green apple okay right this is sun-dried green apple i'm gonna put in this why i'm putting sun-dried green apple so that you know because it is a little spicy mm -hmm. so people who do not who, uh, who don't prefer a little spicy it will cut the spiciness i'm adding the uh, sun-dried uh, black and green olives into okay. it yeah and because Always because very be Mediterranean. exactly because no Mediterranean dish is completed without dollars. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see what it's gonna look like after this break. Should we let it cook and see how it all looks at the end? Sure. All right. So why don't you guys take a short break? I'm waiting to taste this dish. So ten minutes, right? Yeah. Take a break. When we come back, we will be working with some pizza dough and find out how to make authentic pizza with the least ingredients. So don't go anywhere. Yeah. 